So I'm in Lightroom and I want to have these people removed from my from my image. Uh, and first I have to um, send the photo to uh, Photoshop. So I right click and um, I choose edit in Adobe Photoshop and And here we are in Photoshop. Now I don't know what will work removing these people, but I'm, I'm pretty sure Content Aware Phil will not. Um, but we can try. I'm pretty sure it won't work. So go to Edit, Fill, and Content Aware Fill. And did a pretty good job, um, but no. I'm going to delete that uh, marquee and I'm going to choose the clone stamp tool. And I'm gonna Alt press up here, and that's where the area where I, the stamp tool is gonna get the area area from. It's gonna be and I'm lining it up so that I can just paint this lady out like this. Looks pretty good. The last one, just uh, command set to undo. If you make a little mistake, and just follow the pattern down. Zooming a little bit in. I'm working my way down. So, and she's almost gone. All right. And let's take the Alt, press the Alt key and press over here. I'm just gonna line it up here. Make sure that you line it up. I'm gonna make this, and I'm going to take the Alt key and press it over here, and get some of this, and trying to make it all line up. Going so well, like that. It's pretty good. Like that. All right. And taking the stamp tool again, putting Alt here and This line continue up there like that, zooming up. Zooming in to view the result. And what about these people? Will the content aware fill work here? Just draw as close as you can to the object. And edit, fill, content aware fill, like that. That was horrible, just horrible. Command C to undo and find the history panel. And all right, we do the stamp tool again. Click the Alt and then just make the lines. It and move it a little bit like that. Like that. It it really depends on on the image of how what technique you want to to use for removing unwanted uh, elements in your photo. 
um, but it can it's a trial and error. I think it would be all right. I'll just uh, this thing here is actually a lamp, but I have another lamp over there that I could draw in there. But since his head is right there, I will I will remove that lamp also. Like that. And like this. Go. And it really is just one step at a time. And down here, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, but first of all, I'm just gonna alt click and follow the the lines that you have in your in your picture, the the patterns that are already there. It's really important to line to line up so that you get it completely right like this it's pretty good there you go just put a bit more work down here like that maybe and that it's all right yes there you go in here a little bit more pressing s again to to use the, the stamp tool and here we go a little bit just keep Okay, so I make my brush a little bit smaller, like this, and I want to take my pattern from here, and I know there's a little glitch here, but I need something to work with like this, All right? and I'll take a little bit over here, drawing in like this, and can easily remove these. Whoops. Just pressing the Alt key again. Like this. <clears throat> and every time you want to renew the area that you pick your clone stamp for, you just press Alt and the, and uh, and press your, your mouse key. this right like this I don't know about the corner here that's the tricky part huh? it's pretty tricky this sucks all right let's see it from outside here almost there pretty good job in it so far all right I'm gonna try again the constant aware fill the smaller the area uh, the more likely you are to succeed with this fill and then constant aware fill and it's just not a good job but maybe if we zoom out there's an idea of taking this corner from down here and using those those lines for this area up here i think that's the idea so i select the stamp tool again pressing s and then i press the uh, alt key and i press it over here on this edge so i want a clean edge here and this is much better it's just much much better let's see how it lines up it lines up pretty good pretty good all right 
just doing it all this way. And that gave me a corner. That's a that's pretty good. Pretty good. Pressing yes again. Oops. Oops. Making sure these patterns are pretty invisible and it's getting there. I will try to make the corner like this I could try. I was right here. Drawing it in. Uh -oh. That's, that is almost there. Huh? That is almost there. All right, I need this line to be up a little bit higher. I think maybe blur it out and I'll just take the stamp tool again and draw this black line. Maybe I'll take it from up here. This. That all right, starting to work. And pressing the S again, again, again. And I want to take something from here. And maybe I'll try from here. It's better. Huh? Like this. And now all we need for it is to line up. I press the Alt key again, lining it up, working it in like this. <clears throat> All right, and now I will have to, I will have to draw that line in again line here like this just taking it from somewhere else lining it in just yes and a lot of few glitches here nothing much step to here taking the stamp tool again making a new selection like this this. I'm taking it from over here. Some patterns are starting to show like that. It's good enough for me. So I'll save it and jump on back to Lightroom to, to continue editing my picture.